conqueror. Mate, sometimes it's worth going top shelf, isn't it? It is. We don't mind top shelf, do we? Oh, mate, it's very Moorish top shelf. And boy, oh boy, the advantages really stick out. With... I'll, I'll have a conqueror, please, Marvin. <laughs> yes, please. No, no, not that one. I'll go one right from the top, thank you, sir. <laughs> and let me tell you the differences between your more basic unit and your top shelf, well, straight away, hidden. Conqueror, South African origins, but an Australian company in its own right. And when they get them here, yep. they actually bring the shell in and yep. then put a whole heap of options on them to suit our Australian wants, wishes, conditions, all that sort of thing. And so, they go right from basically chassis right up. Electrics, Rebuild. you name it, the whole lot. Awnings, everything right through it. So you've got a really good Australian package and a premium package. And we're not talking down your basic level Conqueror. What we're saying is the top level Conqueror, if you've got the money, it is worth every cent because we, it is seriously as tough as you want, it's as, as durable as you want, and as tricky as you want too, with a lot, a lot of bang for your buck. Oh, heaps of bang for the buck. But look, from the ground up, they changed the chassis. Trailing arm independent suspension with shock absorbers, with coil springs, and I'm talking strong. 16 inch wheels and tyres. Gets it up there, not spinning as hard, not wearing out the wheel bearings, but guess what? What? Little innovation just on that. While we're talking about wheels, yes. the spare wheels mounted on the back, mm -hmm. it's got that beautiful bracket which actually has the, uh, the, barbie the, the barbecue. Plate. Yep. All right. But there's a little secret there. Mm -hmm. In behind that, the mounting bracket is actually a complete spare hub. So if you do your studs, if you do your bearings, yeah. if you do anything on the side of the road, it's just pull the old one off. Pull, put a brand spanking new hub straight on, bearings, the whole kit's there ready to go. And it's a great idea. It We've really been doing is. it on boat trailers for years. Oh, really? It's about time that we saw someone doing it in this field as well. The other thing that people want in Australia, of course, the, the South African model comes in with override brakes, yes. which is great for the higher market, terrific for simplicity, no and, doubt about and that. And it's a smaller, lighter unit, and it's made for maybe your state forests and your, and your, you know, your yeah. corrugated oh, roads. Still a rugged unit. It's still a rugged unit, but this is actually made for no roads, so full electric brakes. Full electric brakes, which, which obviously you've got full control from the towing vehicle. Lock them on, lock them off if you need to at the worst possible scenario, but you've got full control over them. So electric brakes, much better option for Australia. And speaking of electrics, mm -hmm. gone through with a complete red arc system as well. So okay. it's a full battery management system. Yep. You've got two big deep cycle batteries in there, yeah. 210, a massive 210 watts between them. So it's a lot of power storage, mm -hmm. but the battery management system that's in there, yep. you've got control over your 240, you've got your control over your 12 volt, you've got your charging systems, you've got the whole lot stock up, but you've also got a clear control panel. Yeah. So not only do you know how much power you've got left, and water for that matter, we've got water gauges as well. You bet. But in the electrics, how much power you've got left and how long it will actually last you for at the current flow rate. Oh, so, okay. There's few and far between mm. of camper trailers where you can seriously actually go where there are no roads. Mm. What, what sort of hitch have we got? Because you don't yeah, want to fall off. Look, it's a full off-road tread coupling, and that's mm. one of the other big upgrades that they've done in the Australian version is that whole drawbar unit has been massively strengthened, mm. massively strengthened, and also the tread coupling. So full articulating off-road coupling on the front as well. Their attention to detail really is second to none. And then when you, you jump up to the Evolution, boy, oh boy, you get so much bang for your buck. You do, and mate, look, all those traditional things, the access to all that storage from inside and out, mm. so you can have your nibble in the middle of the night as well. A good kitchen, good showers, hot water, the whole kit and convertible, mm. everything you need to be on the road in this great country. Man, if you got the coin, crazy not to look at this one. Absolutely. Mm.